What's up YouTube, back here again with another video, and today we're going to build the massive droner. Now I got a massive droner, all right? I got it today, and I couldn't believe that I got a massive droner today. Insane. I mean, I woke up, and there was the massive droner. So, let's build it. All right, so this is a frame from Catalyst Machine Works, all right, and it's their two and a half inch prop size frame. I seen it around there, out there on the old interwebs, and I decided to buy it, all right? And I was going to make a big video installing Butterfly on my rooster, and uh, I got these bad boys to put on there too, but my computer is being ridiculous, and it decided to do some security updates, so... We're going to build the massive drone instead because I'm down here and I want to do something and I want to put this frame together anyway. So there's enough droning on. Ha ha. Let's open it up. Now this is my second Catalyst Machine Works frame. Uh, nothing but great things to say about the Speed Addict 210 that I have, the V2. Uh, that thing is absolute tank if you're looking for a frame. Uh, that's a freaking awesome one because... It literally, it, it, it's a tank. I don't know, that's, that's all I got to say about that. So, this is my second catalyst frame. So, let's see what we got here. Screws. We got our single bottom plate. All right, for the sake of actually being specific. Yeah, one and a half side plates. That's the same piece. These are the little struts underneath. Got two and a half millimeters on these little strut pieces. This is the other front piece, I believe, that goes here, interlocks, and I believe this one goes in the back. And these go on the side. Let's recheck this. Three millimeters, so that's good. These are two and a half. And a nice thin battery strap, so that's cool. It's a little smaller, a little thinner. And let's check that. I usually use 200 millimeter battery straps. And this looks to be about 160 millimeter. Yeah, probably about 100, 160 millimeter battery strap, so that's good. And it is 16 wide, 16 millimeters wide. So there we go. All right. Now I see some antenna tubes in here. Dump these screws. Let's see what we got. Here's some antenna tubes. Callus is good for antenna tubes. This looks like has something to do with this. It's gonna go in here somehow or something. Maybe not. All right, that's clearly for the antenna. And I really wish they freaking would put directions in these things. So that's how that's going to go. All right, so that's going to slide in. Put this piece on first, slide it into the front, and then slide this frame in and then up. So we got that. I believe this is going to go back here. Probably here. And it looks like it's going to hold that from moving. So I guess we could put those screws in there. I guess this is going to go here. It's pretty cool. The only thing is it looks like if you're going to have to take this apart, you're going to have to take out your motor screws because it looks like the motor screws are going to hold this plate on as well. So you're going to need bigger motor screws. Hopefully they gave you those. Yeah, that's going to go through there. Hold that. And then this. I'm going to assume these Phillips head screws. Phillips said screwdriver. Gonna have to find one of those babies. Thought we were done with these. There we go, we got one. Yeah, these go in here because when your camera's gonna go here, obviously. I guess I'm gonna put this like this. Because it's 3D printed, these bigger threads 
We're gonna help hold that on. Yeah, that's nice and tight. So yeah, these these are the screws you want to put into the 3D printed parts because they're gonna hold nice and tight. All right, there's a crap load of washers. Uh, if if you want to use washers, have at it. I'm not going to at this point. What the heck is that little screw for? Well, that one's got a little dinky Phillips driver on it, man. This is crazy. Oh, you know what? That's for that probably because that doesn't fit. So I'm going to say that this little weird one is to lock in the antenna plate. Because the hole here is a little thinner and the bigger screw didn't fit well all right so there's that so that's how we got that locked in and then we're gonna need two more of the bigger ones for this piece okay now the back the next thing the last thing I would say or that you're gonna have to do I guess when you're putting this together is get these lock nuts up in here. It's kind of an interesting design, I guess. And I'm not gonna do both because I have to take this apart. And these are mil and a half. Nope, two mil. Two mil driver there. And I guess that's gonna crank that down. Let's bring this in here. Hold that screw. All right, so yeah, that's gonna hold that down like that. Can you see how that's in there? Sorry, I know I'm flopping around. I imagine that's how that's gonna go. So that'll hold that in place nice and tight, and then your motor nuts will go through there. So there you go. That's the frame, and you get all your screws for your motor nuts. And you get all your stuff for these. You put one more over here. All right, now. So there you go. That's the frame. All right? Let's check uh, motor to motor. About 118. You know, that's rough. So it's about a, probably a 120 or a 115. Probably a 115. 96 from here to here. And 73 this way. So it's more like an acro style frame, kind of squished this way. So there you go. All right, now, let's see. Say you have it built, you crash, and you're gonna to wanna to take it apart. Let's see the minimum amount of parts. See, now, I don't like this, because you, know, you gotta have two tools here now. I don't know how tight that's gonna be. All right, so let's say you take out the back screws, and you take out your motor screws, because they're definitely going to have to come out, and you can take it apart like that. So I guess that's how we'll leave it. I'll put everything on here, camera in here, antenna and all up in here, and then you'll be able to slide it on just like this. So that's kind of cool. So there you go. And then you can just kind of separate it like that with your screws off. All right. There you go. That's the massive droner. I will uh, flash up, I guess, a picture of it built, and so you can kind of see what it looks like. That's how you put it together. This your battery strap's going to run under here because it's going to be a bottom bottom mount, and then your tubes are going to go in here once you get your antennas in here. So yeah, that's that. That's how that's going to go. So here we are, the finished product, and overall, I am pretty satisfied with. The build here you go right here I did take all this stuff off a different build so it is not new so disregard the dirt and stuff but any which way uh, yeah it went together pretty good uh, the screws I did use these screws here the longer ones that came the one and a half dry you know socket head screws for these two front you don't need this piece this piece you can leave off um, if you want to save the weight I just stuck it on 
Uh, this piece clips into the front part, so I would definitely put that on at least. You know, that's going to give you some more protection up in here. Uh, but yeah, there's a two and a half inch massive droner. Camera sits up there. You could put it in this slot and drop it back. You see there, you can drop it back if you want. I just put it into that one. Uh, just poke the antennas in, and then they go through the tubes. Stick your tubes in here. And I just put my VTX antenna right there. Stacked up everything right here. There's a good amount of space. If you want to do, you could fit a three stack in here. One, two, three. If you know, if you had one, you know, I kind of have that just sitting there. I uh, have mine soft mounted. But there you go. There is the finished two and a half inch massive droner. And I will show you the footprint here. Here's the Baby Hawk R in two and a half inch mode. So you can see that this one is definitely way more compact. Uh, you can see if I'm gonna line up the motor, kind of lining up the motor even here. I don't know if you can see it, but it definitely is longer. You know, it's definitely got a wider, this one's a little more compact, so this is more like a true X, this is more like a squashed, more like a acro style setup there, so you see the distance, so, you know, you got all this space here and all this space here, right? So there you go. Massive Droner by Catalyst Machine Works, super awesome little frame, check it out if you like it. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.